Rubbish, trash, pollution, wash down the drain. The once clear and fresh water of the Yarra with its rocky bottom provided Batman with fresh water to settle the township of Melbourne. Less than 200 years ago, the Yarra was full of life and drinkable water, as is still the case in the upper reaches at Warburton. However, now the situation is different. With mighty water from a hundred years of dredging, redirection of the Yarra's route via canal, and the alteration of riverbanks. We must also not forget the blowing up of a landmark waterfall out of frustration where Banana Alley Bridge has been built since. In addition to these man-made deformations of nature comes pollution. This is no new problem as Melbourne was nicknamed Smelbourne earlier this century because of water pollution from the abattoirs situated on the Yarra. Dead bodies and remnants contaminated the Yarra's drinking water, leading to a typhoid epidemic. Thankfully, this problem was solved. However, now we have a much larger and long-term problem to deal with. The long-term pollution of rubbish and sewerage washed out to sea so as we are not disturbed by what we don't see. We continue to drink plastic bottled water from under an iceberg, fooling ourselves we are healthy as the world slowly dies. Fish, birds and fairy penguins, murdered by a thoughtless plastic bag, thrown down the drain and out of sight. Does the government represent the people, or only specific people, with a lot of influence? Does a little person's voice or vote count anymore, or just the budgets behind the advertising campaign? No one listens to me because I am no one, so this is a campaign about pollution to give a voice to all the little people politicians are not interested in. We have had enough and it's time to repair nature. A few little surface rubbish traps are not enough. With the wonderful inventiveness Australia is famous for, we should be able to clean up our mess. Perhaps we could construct a filtering system to separate rubbish from water in the drains, similar to a coffee filter, or microwave sewerage into a fuel source instead of pumping it wastefully into Bass Strait. The possibilities are endless, and it is annoying to see people do nothing when they have a responsibility to do something. It's time for a change, right now. The children of the future depend on us to act so they can breathe fresh air and drink fresh water. So let us attempt to heal the world together. Come along on a voyage where a no one is someone, where people count. Let us set sail down the Yarra on the raft Polyution, entirely made of rubbish on a sunny day in May. Dress in your recycled trash and insulate yourself with bubble wrap. Help us tie our long string of bottles onto a drain outlet to highlight the passage of pollution. I dub the pollution guardian <laughs> of the era. Holder of the rubbish. <laughs> Bring it up the sun. Whoa! <laughs> Spray it. <laughs> ah!